go out and then just film around the van and see what what it's like. Moon's nearly out. Shut the door. Mm, I don't know what that was. Sounds like a bloody werewolf. Oh Jesus. But I can hear some kind of wolf uh, in the field near me. So I want to get back in. Oh Jesus. Yeah. Don't know what that is. Sounds like a wolf. Hmm. Yeah, I'll just shut the door. Oh, I don't know about this solo camping. Ah, conditions here today, autumnal. Yes, it's uh, now autumn and uh, I'm uh, looking very smart today because I'm off to work. But off to work with a difference. Um, I'm going to be going to Barnstable today working. And um, what I thought I'd do is I'm off tomorrow, so Nash is busy, so I'm going to do a solo wild camp. The good thing is, the van's already packed and there's hardly anything in it. Completely different pack to what we normally do. So I'll get going and uh, we'll check in a bit later. Well, I've uh, finished work. Um, just tea time now um, just arrived I feel a bit out of place because I'm still in me shirt and trousers just have a quick recce of where we are <coughs> place near Molland not Holland Molland and um, on the way here I've never seen so many pheasants in all my life it looks like everybody's released the pheasant population so um, on a bit of a slant at the moment uh, so that won't be ideal but uh, just through that gate um, there's a pheasant beyond the gate there's a nice flat bit but I'm not entirely sure if that's private property or not so what I think I'll do is I'll uh, I'll get changed out of the shirt get me walking gear on and go for a little wander up there a little wood, Dibner's wood Fred Dibner's wood, it's not Dibner is it it's probably going to be something else but I'm going to call it Fred Dibner's wood for now um, I'll go for a walk up there, have a bit of a scout round, check it out. But in the middle of nowhere this is. Absolutely in the middle of nowhere. No signal. I was supposed to tell Nasha where I was actually staying because I changed my mind today. And now I'm on Exmoor. I was going to go to the coast. So this is the first solo wild camp I've done in the van. I've never seen so many pheasants. If I had a gun... I'd be quids in for tea tonight. First bit of nature over the bridge, dead rat. Uh, and uh, another pheasant. We're going to get sick of pheasants. This trip's going to be called the pheasant trip, without a shadow of a doubt. So uh, it's a lovely little wood. path going up there I think I might walk that way tomorrow so the plan is what I'm doing here is um, I'm just doing a bit of a recce um, working out to go for a long hike tomorrow onto the hills at Exmoor through this bit of a forest or whatever it is uh, oh Dibner's wood as I, I've now coined it um, I'm not sure if this is private property I can't work it out there's like a little fjord at the bottom there where this rough track goes across. A little bridge. Pheasants everywhere you look and you can hear them. It's absolutely gorgeous. I could have a campsite down here. This is brilliant. Persons using this bridge do so at their own risk. Pheasant. Everywhere you look, pheasant. Feels like a pheasant farm. I'll not do the pheasant flocker, flocker thing. Now, the other thing I've noticed is that there's definitely something going on here. It's a strange place, but there's these little traps, I'm presuming, or little walkways for the birds to get through. 
I, I'm, I'm really confused. Dennis investigations continues. Work out what's going on and where I'm going. Uh, I'm in the woods now across the stream. It's strange how you react to noises. Especially when you've just found um, a few gun cartridges uh, knocking about. Everything's starting to make sense in a way. Uh, that I'm in the middle of some kind of uh, shooting zone. I'm going to camp tonight in this beautiful little valley. In a pheasant farm. Absolutely gorgeous. And so um, I've moved. Uh, and the reason being is, although I was in a lovely spot, um, there was nowhere flat and I didn't bring the chocks. As always, sometimes it works out for the better. So I've got a better spot, side of a very uh, small little lay-by in the middle of nowhere. I've just opened the van door and that's basically where I am. So I'm just going to stay here for the night. So this is what solo wild camping is all about. Just don't know what to do with myself. Well, I do. <coughs> I'm going to make hot pots. Food time. Right. Never really. Have I really cooked in this boat in there? So I don't really know. Marco Polo cooking kitchen is now open. Tonight's menu is Lancashire hot pot. So we're having Lancashire hot pot. Uh, reason for that is it's the cost of living crisis. I could have gone to a nice pub and had a nice meal this evening, but as with everything else that everybody's got, oh shit, it's leaked. Oh, that's a bad start. I did make a Lancashire hot pot. No, where's my kitchen roll? Um, the flying there as well. Jesus. Um, oh, oh. I'll do this outside. That's a good start, isn't it? Hot pot juice. The aroma of lovers. Uh, that's what you get when you live up north. That's the hot pot done. Anyway, where was a cost of living crisis? Yes. Now things have moved on. We can't all go out and eat like we used to do. Now we need to look at things like this of being frugal and making your own and not going out that's what the van's for payback time hopefully there's enough gas i mean that's another thing in it i don't really know how much gas i've got yes there's gas it's actually butcher's beef i don't buy meat from supermarkets because it looks rank so uh, that's the only thing i've got but i've now started shopping at little i started at booths uh, which is higher than Waitrose, then Waitrose, and then uh, Sainsbury's, and now Lidl. Uh, not that there's anything wrong with Lidl, but there's some things that just don't work, and uh, some things that do. Hot pot on the go. Can't beat a bit of bread and butter. You got me bread. I get me plate. And then that's it. How easy is that? Eating uh, Lancashire hot pot in the south. Hot pot. It literally is a hot pot. I hope that is the true way to use the word literally. Hot pot. Um, I've, I've, um, I've decided that I'm not going to use a plate um, because there's no one here. Um, and I'm going to use my heat mat and just eat straight out of the pot. Um, hopefully it'll be alright on there. Ooh. Uh, I probably realised that this is enough hot pot for two people. I mean, my deluxe um, little West Country butter uh, for me bread, me Timothy Taylor's landlord, and some brown sauce. Voila, Dennis's hot pot. That'll do nicely. Barn Owl. There he is. Hunting in the meadow. Go 
going about his business, looking for a, a vole or a mouse. Anything will do. Probably wouldn't want my Lancashire hot pot, but nevertheless, he's hungry. Or she. Probably a she. Actually, it's a bit white. It's probably a he. I'm going to do the curtain test. Now, one of the things oh, I think about the Mercedes Benz is that they light their lights. It's so bright. Jesus. Um, we spent seven pounds on black material and Nasha kindly sewed it together. Spent another four pounds on a shower extension pole off Amazon. And then I sewed by hand a Velcro on it. So, made to measure van curtain. Yeah, that's the curtain installed. So we've got this nice bright light on, Mercedes bright light. I'll go out and then just film around the van and see what, what it's like. So. I'm going to walk round the van. You can see in the sides a little bit. Mm, I don't know what that was. I'm going to bloody wheel off. And actually, there's a bit of light leakage, but not a lot. That's pretty good. Oh, Jesus. Well done, Nasha. But I can hear some kind of wolf uh, in the field near me. So I want to get back in. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, don't know what that is. Sounds like a wolf. Hmm. Yeah, I'll just shut the door. The worst poured pint ever. Uh, but it is a year out of date. Ten past eight. Don't feel tired yet. The uh, werewolf's gone, so that's a bonus. I'll enjoy the view again. That's a disco light thing. And anybody looking over the valley into this van tonight, I think there's a UFO landed, so might be on the news tomorrow. It's about half nine. I'm starting to feel a little bit tired now. I know what I want for Christmas. Some Slingsbury Old Tom Gin. I'm just having a few sips of that now as a nightcap. Hopefully that will uh, send me off. It's uh, so peaceful. Uh, like I say, I don't know where I am. I do know where I am. I'm on Exmoor somewhere. But just in the middle of nowhere. Parked up in a little lane. The only people who go past is one bloke on a horse and one car that sped past. Don't even know if it saw the van. Uh, we've had the American werewolf in London. Pheasants. Uh, and that's about it. Um, but really nice. So I think this will be the last thing I'll film now. Unless I get rudely awoken. Um, but that's it for tonight. Tomorrow, uh, the idea is, is that I go for a walk and uh, around Exmoor for a bit of a hike. Um, I haven't really planned a route. Just, uh, what's that coffee down there? UFO, uh, could be flying by there. Uh, but I haven't really planned it. So uh, I'm just going to go for a hike. Yeah. And uh, test out the mic. Not that it's that windy. Anyway, that'll be it for now. See you in the morning.